if you believe I am interested in granting you mercy, given the scope of your failure, Commander Aran, then you are most mistaken. For what you have done, or, put more plainly, failed to do, I have no other choice than to make an example out of you to the rest of my fleet and the entire galaxy. For your failure to destroy the rebels in the Lelon system, you will be executed by firing squad. Not an easy decision, but one that must be made. I would hope that you would do the same in my position. Yes, I am well aware of your years of service. That is why I am showing you mercy by not having your whole lineage annihilated. But question my decisions again, Commander Aran, and I will not hesitate in having your entire homeworld destroyed. I will not ask if that is clear. I know that I have made it so. Now leave my sight. I do not see the need for guards to escort you to your cell, Commander. After all, you know the consequences of any attempted escape, don't you? Yes, I thought you did. Now be gone. The next time I want to see your face is on screen when your execution is being publicly televised. Now, my loyal servant, what is next on today's agenda? After all... The crowd here has been most attentive, and I'm certain that they're excited to see what poor fool deserves my judgment next. Oh, we're done for the day? Oh, thank the stars. All of you, be gone. The day's events have concluded. And should any of you linger in this hall for even a moment longer, I shall have you and your families executed. Oh. Finally, it's over. For today, at least. There is still, of course, tomorrow and the day after that. And the day after that, such joys in ruling the galaxy, such terrifying power at my disposal. But, if I could go back in time, I'm not sure I wouldn't stop myself from embarking on this foolish journey. Still, no matter, it is what fate has decided for me. And who's there? Who dares to linger in these halls when I gave commands to leave? Show yourself, fool. Show yourself before I... Oh, my loyal servant. Whatever are you still doing here? Did you not hear my command to leave? Have I worked you so hard that your physical exhaustion has reached your senses too? Ah... The crowds left so swiftly and the doors closed before you could escape. And your fragile body is far too weak to open them. I see. With a wave of my hand, a mere thought, I can open those doors for you. Of course, this ship responds to my every mental whim. No wonder it's been so successful in our continued dominance of the universe. But I see no reason for you to leave. My loyal servant, the threatening words I spoke were not meant for you. Of course not. You've been my servant for many years now, have you not? Always bringing me whatever I've needed without a moment's hesitation. Whether it be my ledger, my beverages, or even the head of my enemies. I'm not certain of how someone so weak and small manages to acquire such a body count, but I've found imagining such things offers more fun than any truth could offer. So, 
I'll ask that you keep your lips shut and that you bring yourself closer to me. There we are. How are you this dark and dingy evening, my loyal servant? I know the days of Vince have been long for one such as yourself. Even for me, they've been tedious. While once I enjoyed the ceremonies performed in this throne room, now I find them a chore. One of the many that take up my days whenever we are in between planets to pillage and ransack and conquer. And it's almost as if being an emperor takes actual work. Something my younger self certainly didn't realize when they took up this path. And the more my already vast empire grows, the more work there seems to be. Why, there must be hundreds of planets to our name by now. And so many I've stopped keeping track. My hands grip the life flow of these worlds, all in more power than most of their inhabitants could ever imagine. And yet I find myself wishing that a few planets might slip through my fingers and just lighten my workload somewhat. I don't remember the last day I was able to relax. The last day I woke up without a mountain of tedium ahead. And the worst part is, I can't even complain about it. I can to you, of course. I mean, who are you going to tell? Nobody in their right mind willingly speaks to the Emperor's servant. The secrets you could glean, the stories you could tell me. <laughs> it is quite wise of them to avoid you. And of course, you know what I would do to you were the words I'm sharing with you told outside of this room, don't you? No, oh, yes. Flane would certainly come into it at some point, I'm sure. I've done more for less. But really, I'm not sure why you would choose to do such a thing. After all, who would be stupid enough to lose such a rare thing as the Emperor's trust once they have it? I must contend with backstabbers so often then I don't give out my trust easily. In fact, amongst the entire crew of this ship, amongst even my own dark disciples, you are the only one I can really talk to. Because you hold no power over me. You lack the skills to even threaten me. And I know that you know this. I know that even being in my presence sends shivers down your spine. Because you know that if you displease me, even the smallest amount, I could have you ended or destroyed to the merest mental suggestion. And I won't say that that will never happen to you. But you're safe for the moment, my loyal servant. I have enough self-control to keep myself from venting my frustrations out on someone so indisposable. But you might think otherwise, given you've no doubt noticed I've been using these throne room sessions to vent my frustrations a lot recently. Ask Commander Aran. All right. It wasn't his fault that the rebels got away. I'm sure he did everything that he could, but he still failed. And that gives me a wonderful opportunity to burn away the tedium by coming up with a deliciously twisted punishment. Now lose the talented commander, certainly, but he'll be replaced within the hour by another commander, desperate not to make their predecessor the same mistake. So, if anything, it's a win, really. No win for my empire. A delightfully devilish addition to my reputation. 
but perhaps not for me. You see, such a cruel reputation has its drawbacks, my loyal servant. Nobody in their right mind wishes to be around me. Even you sought to leave, desperately rushing for the exit, only betrayed by the throne room doors closing. Not that I blame you. There's not a soul alive that doesn't fear me in one way or another. And while that's fine at first, certainly what my younger self desired, I happen to find that I've become a bit... lonely in recent times. I know that I don't need to threaten you into silence, my loyal servant. Because you know what the consequences will be if word gets out. Yes, I am lonely. Desiring company. Not someone I'm commanding. Not someone I'm ruling. But someone I can talk to. Share my real self with. And I didn't think of this until a moment ago, my loyal servant. But I believe that person might be you. Ah, uh, I can sense your hesitation. But worry not. Nothing about your life would change. Your status would remain the same. You are far too valuable to risk losing in such a manner. But perhaps you could be... valuable in another way. A more... personal way. <laughs> you have a decision to make now, my loyal servant. I won't use my power upon you. The decision is your own. I will ask you to come towards me. Should you refuse, nothing will happen to you. And we shall speak no more of this. Everything will continue as normal. But if you do, am I? The potential benefits will be glorious. And of course, as I said, you will stay the same. Publicly, at least. But should our professional relationship grow more intimate, then I may be inclined to grant you hidden benefits. A nicer room, actually. My own might do, but we'll see. All in due time. I would let the guards know that you are to be protected, but more than that, you would be under my protection too. More so than you ever have before. And I promise you, my loyal servant, there is not a safer place in all the universe than at my side. Now, my loyal servant, it is time for your decision. Perhaps the most important decision of your wretched little life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come. Here, your emperor commands you. <laughs> Before I do my normal outro, I'd like to know if you're a fan of these sci-fi type scripts. I want to bring you all the content that you actually want to see, so please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for listening to another of my audios, and a special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vinowin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Paley, and Lindsay Travers. All of your support, be a patron or not, truly does mean the world to me. Every single like, comment, share, subscription, it truly is all helping me. So thank you for that. If you're interested in keeping up with me, be sure to check out all of my relevant links in the link tree. It'll be in the pinned comment down below. Also, be sure to check out the original script, which will also be in that same pinned comment. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.